Hey guys, it's Pay975, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your own static IP address. That way your router doesn't change your local area network address every time you're connecting to it. So first of all, you're going to want to do is uh, go to your start menu and type in CMD, and that should pop up, and you want to hit enter. And when your command prompt comes, uh, comes up, you want to go ahead and type in ipconfig slash all. And a lot of stuff will pop up. You want to just go to the top and look for something that's uh, called IPv4 address. That's your local area network address. And the reason it says prefer for mine is probably because I already have my IP uh, static already. But it's probably going to look different for yours. So if you want to just use this or you can use a different one, it doesn't matter. But you probably want to use the one that you're already connected to right now. So just save that later for reference. Now you want to go to your start menu and go to control panel, panel. <clears throat> and then you want to go to network and internet and then network and sharing center. And you want to go under your connections right over here. I don't know if you guys are connected uh, through your ethernet or wireless, but you want to go ahead and click this and go to properties. And you want to go to internet uh, protocol version 4 and hit properties and this should pop up now uh, it's probably going to be checked at obtain an IP address automatically but you want to go ahead and click use the following IP address and uh, I just completely forgot but you want to go ahead and uh, type in what's over here your IPv4 address which is 192.168.1.110 for me And your subnet mask uh, should be already typed in for you because that's a no-brainer. And your default gateway is the same as uh, your default gateway in here, 192.168.1.1. And you should be good. I'm not going to hit OK, but if you hit OK, you're, uh, you should go ahead and restart your connection to your router and maybe even restart your router yourself. And uh, you should have a static IP address in should be good with that. It's very quick and easy and if you guys need any questions or things answered just send me a message on YouTube and this is Payne975 and I'll catch you guys later.